Greetings everyone, I'm Greg Moss and welcome to this video on how you can reset your password inside of an Odoo database and I should say your user admin password inside of an Odoo database that has been lost. So this is assuming you have access to a backend and uh, that you're going to be able to get into administrator but you've lost the password of the database and you you know you need to be able to get into that to, to administer everything. So if you like this video, ones like it, please go down below, click uh, like and subscribe, and make sure you click that little notification icon so you can get notified. And um, so this is gonna happen sometimes, people are gonna forget passwords and databases, and it's really for uh, resetting the admin password, but you could use it to reset any user password in the database if you just happen to have to do it that way. It usually would you know first get access the admin password and do things traditionally so uh, what I've done here is I've logged into a terminal and I got this terminal at the bottom and I got some instructions up here at the top on how to do it so notes on how it's done and uh, I'm using a little extension called VS notes inside of VS code it's just kinda handy but I'm gonna do this inside of a terminal down here so you can use this really with any terminal that you have access to uh, get to these uh, the Postgres database and run what you need to run inside of the Odoo context. So let's go ahead and get started right away. The first thing we need to do is get into the Odoo environment and so we're going to do that by going to our Odoo 14 user and you'll need to do this for however you need to do this to get into your environment. That's not really, this is not about teaching Ubuntu or teaching you how to set up an Odoo environment or anything else. It's really for someone who already kind of knows how to administer these things, they just need to recover this password. Um, and so um, you need to go to you know where your environment is at or where everything's set up. And I'm using a virtual environment for my Odoo installation. So if you're not using a virtual environment, you might not need this step, but in my case I am. So I'm now in my Odoo in virtual environment with my Odoo user. So I'm now in a position where I can run anything that I need to, just like if Odoo was running it as an Odoo server. Now you'll need to do the same on your system. If you have trouble with this, you know I have lots of tutorials on oduclass.com. I also have a Odoo Inner Circle. Dot com uh, where I have uh, more one-on-one -on -one help for people that are really trying to administer servers and things like that. So once we get the environment, we now need to get a new password. We're not really going to uh, recover the password. It's encrypted, so we can't recover it. But what we're going to do is just go into the database and replace it with one we know so we can get in and change it uh, as we need. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to Python 3 and get into the Python environment. Now, in, in your case, uh, if this breaks or doesn't work, it probably means because you're not in the right uh, environment and, and you don't, you're not set up to run Odoo either if you can't do this. And then this is the command that's going to get our password library and um, you know put it into this variable essentially. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like that. If you get an error here, then you're most certainly not inside of your Odoo environment. Um, next we want to go ahead and get a uh, basically uh, a method that's going to allow us to create a password and that's when I'm going to come here and call it uh, this encryption to encrypt the password that we set here and I just need to come in here and instead of the what I have there I just want to put between the quotes exactly what I want. So I'm going to just call it new password. And so you ignore the brackets. Um, those are just so that we can get so the, the visual context there. So you can see this is where you change it. So this is what we're going to put. And I'll hit this. And notice it just shoots out this string. So it's really right here, everything between these two quotes. That's what our password is going to need to be set inside the database. It's, it's an encrypted version of new password. But once we place this inside the database, inside the right record, then we can use new password to log in. So let's go ahead now and get out of the Python environment. And so to get out of the Python environment, we can type exit, open close parentheses, or we could hit control D. And then we can also now get out of our environment 
uh, for Odoo. So we got out of our virtual environment by deactivating it. And now I'm going to get out of Odoo 14 by exiting it. Now, in Visual Studio, I didn't really need to do all those steps. I'm just going to show you a little shortcut. I could just come up over here and hit plus and open a new terminal and do what I need to do here. And I'm going to leave that other one open so I can get to our password. Now, um, what we're going to want to do now is go in, into PostgreSQL and update that password. So we're going to go sudo su postgres. That means we're going to become the Postgres admin user. We go into psql. I mistyped that. So now we're inside of there. And I kind of wish I didn't uh, mistype that because I want this to be easier for everybody to see. So Postgres, we're in the user, and psql gets us into the terminal. And once we're inside of the Postgres terminal or the Postgres command line, we can issue commands now that are for the database. And this slash L is one that lists out the database. So now you can see that we can see that we have uh, one called test odoo 14 So this I know is the one that I need. So this will help you also if you don't know the database as well. And uh, so now we can connect to the database by saying slash connect and typing in test odoo 14 and it'll tell us we're connected now to this database so I we could just go ahead and issue the command but I want to show you a little trick that if you can just say select and then you can type login or ID comma login from res underscore users and you want to put this little semicolon after it and hit enter it's going to now shoot, shoot out the records and you can see here all of the logins and you get one for portal por portal template all that and you can see that admin is id2 we're going to now update the database with our password uh, the new one so this is where we're actually changing it and then we're going to use this update statement so i'm going to paste this in here and then this is where that copied hash is going to go and i can come back here to this or actually the one before it and grab it so that's a nice little thing about Visual Studio Code copy my hash and go back now <clears throat> to this terminal and since this is a command line I can't use it you know I can't do the selections and things with my mouse I gotta come in here and do that but now I can uh, paste in this hash and so as soon as I do that and hit enter, I have updated the password in that database with new password. I should be able to come in here now and go new password. And I'm logged in. <clears throat> it's um, something that will get you out of a lot of jams if that password is lost. And uh, with that, I'm going to end it. If you like the video, please subscribe. Please go down and uh, click the little notification as well and leave me a comment let me know what kinds of videos you would like to see and if you had any maybe easy, easier ways or you have another method for recovering that password that would be good to know because the more tools we have in our toolbox the better off we are as you can see I kept the notes up here I don't memorize everything uh, it's, it's just good to have great access to knowledge please join me over in oduinnercircle.com or oduclass.com and with that, I'm going to wrap this up, and thanks for watching.